Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. This is a time of the year when we're planting onions, or we've already planted our onions. And one of the first things that start happening in your onion patch are weeds are coming up. Now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? We're going to go over to the community garden and I'm going to show you what I do. Now this year, instead of having a patch, I did two rows around about three-fourths of the perimeter of my plots. So it's completely different than having my patches. Sometimes I've had it just, you know, three or four feet across, sometimes big patches. But this time, I'm doing a perimeter. The weeds are starting to come up. What am I going to do about it? Now, if you stay to the end of the video, I have a couple little things we're going to talk about, a couple announcements, um, a product book that I think you'll be really interested in. I have fallen in love with it and very helpful for the home gardener. But let's go over to the community garden. We're at the community garden and I'm actually digging up what they call burr sage. It's rampant in the community garden and the guy that had the plot next to me never would weed and it went to seed and it's just everywhere but it's in between my onions and you can see I'm using my onion hoe which is actually called an onion hoe and it's very sharp and Joe keeps it sharp for me and it can just slice that burr sage or anything else that's in the garden and it makes it so that you can really go around onion plants or really any vegetable plant and it goes deep enough to break those roots off but it also goes deep enough to fluff up that soil and so that when it rains or it waters there's a lot of percolation into the soil there's a lot of airflow into the soil and it just makes the world a difference and it just takes minutes and I have the onions all in a perimeter and it's only two rows and I just use that hole and it's quick as a bee but see how many um, I took that little sec else shaped section fast and then I got to go all the way down there it's about 25 feet total and I just take that hole and go around now sometimes you find things other than worms this is a grub i'm killing that grub i don't want them in the garden and you find them when you take the time to work that soil but it literally took me minutes to do that 25 foot row around the corner on the l shape and then i went around to all the rest of the garden the perimeter that i have these onions and it seriously was minutes before it was done. Now, after I do that, I'm always going to water in well, just in case I've disturbed any of those onion roots. Now, more than likely, I didn't because I was only pushing it down about an inch and a half, and my onions are buried pretty deep right now, but I always like to water in. Now, you might say, oh, well, that's going to make those weeds grow again. Well, yes, it is. But in a few days or a week, whenever I need to, I'm going to go back. So, that, so that's how I do my onions. And I've done it when it's just been patches. I'm doing it when it's the perimeter. Onions like loose, fluffy soil. So weeds are not a bad thing in your onion patch. And if every few days or at least once a week, you go in there, and you're even using some kind of hoe. I'll put a description for the that onion hoe below. It's a DeWitt tool, and I've just really liked it. And I use it not just around my onions. I use it around a lot of vegetable plants. If I'm doing that every week, that soil stays worked, fluffy. And as my onions expand, they want it to be nice, loose soil. They don't want any pressure or they won't get as big as they can get. So it's just a matter of, let's find something. To, I have 15 minutes. What can I do in my garden? Do your onions. 
pull weeds around something else. Break it down into increments of 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I got 20 minutes. I'm going to go into the garden. I'm going to do this right now. And as you go through, you're seeing the worms and the bugs and the grubs and the good things and the bad things because you're always interacting with your garden. Now, speaking of interacting with the garden, this is the book I've fallen in love with. I got this as a Mother's Day gift and I've just gone through it and through it and through it. Now, it's The Seed to Pantry Planner. So it's taking you from how many plants do I need to do, then you're growing them. Maybe you're cooking them or maybe you're preserving them. And it just takes you step by step. And it has all these calculations and pounds per person. You know, and I've talked about these in different videos, how I figure out how many plants I have to have. And this just really just breaks it down for you. It has charts like this. How many pounds will I get for my fresh food if I dehydrate it? And it has charts. And it'll go through anything from asparagus to leeks to all kinds of vegetables. Mushrooms, onions, tomatoes, even zucchinis. And so it has a section on dehydrating. It has sections on canning. It has goals that you might do. Um, amazing book. But I got that as a gift. If I can find a link, I'll put it in the description below. But it's The Seed to Pantry Planner. Excellent book. Now the other thing, my announcements. I really took some time this weekend to really just think because I was already feeling overwhelmed. You know, we're back home. There's so much to do here in the house, in the gardens, in the community garden. I'm going to the master gardener stuff, doing this activities with them. Busy, busy, busy. And I thought, I want to enjoy my YouTube experience. I want to just be able to be that teacher and just really help you grow as a gardener, as a homesteader, as a cook. I want to be able to just do that freely. And I, I think I was making some self-imposed restrictions with, okay, Monday night I do this, Wednesday morning I do this, Thursday afternoon I do this video. And then trying to get the other videos I want to just really share with you and I have time for sometimes. So I've decided for the summer, Till we get back down to Arizona, I'm not doing any of those series. Not that I won't do things occasionally, like this is how cheap I live in this area. This is a tip at 5 p.m. Only it might not be at 5 p.m. It'll just be for that day. Giving me a more freedom and I was just really feeling overwhelmed. And I didn't want it to feel that way because I love my YouTube experience. I love my subscribers, my viewers, the members, and I really wanted to just be able to enjoy that. So I just said, okay, we're just going to make some changes. And now Monday night has been the hot seat and I've been doing that for a lot of months. And this month, I didn't actually feature somebody. I featured about 25 channels that had gotten a seed box. So you have all month long to comment on that video and you can go into the drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card. So everyone, just thank you. Thanks for watching the videos, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing. I greatly appreciate it. I like my flowers, got those for Mother's Day too. I have the best kids, all my kids. They're calling, they're video chatting, they're doing all kinds of stuff. I will see you next time.